Welcome back to the channel. In the kitchen today, I'm making la momo desi tomato fresh fish soup. So delicious, you will love it. Alors, bienvenue mes savoureux. Je prépare aujourd'hui une sauce tomate au poisson frais. Hello, this is Armel D from Savers. I'll be cooking some yummy food today. So if you didn't subscribe to my channel already, please do so. Let's get cooking. I'm starting this recipe by seasoning an already clean fish. I purchased this fish at my local grocery store. You can find it in any specialty store like Asian market, tropical food place, uh, African market. You can season your fish half hour prior to cooking or overnight and leave it in your fridge. Seasoning details are in the recipe, link is in the description box. While the fish is soaking all the flavor from the seasoning, I start cooking the fresh tomato and tomato paste in an oil. La liste et mesure des ingrédients et assaisonnement est dans la recette. Le lien est dans la description. While cooking the tomato, you can taste it. If it is really tart, you can add just a pinch of baking soda. Just a pinch. Je voulais juste ajouter que si votre tomate est trop acide à votre goût, Ajoutez juste un tout petit peu de bicarbonate de soude. Juste un tout petit peu. Cook the tomato mixture for about 5 to 10 minutes. Ma tomate est bien cuite, alors euh, j'ajoute de l'oignon, la purée d'oignon, anis, gingembre et ail. Add your purée onion, ginger, anis, garlic. Now that my tomato is done cooking, I can add the seasoned fish. Je peux maintenant ajouter le poisson assaisonné à ma sauce tomate puisque la sauce tomate est bien cuite. You need a fish with skin on, bone in. You don't want fish with tiny, annoying bone. Nobody likes that, especially when you're cooking for kids, which is my case. Once I'm done putting all my fish in the tomato sauce, I'm adding some water. You notice that the water that I'm adding is not really clear. That's because I rinse the bowl that I put the fish in before. So this water has some extra seasoning from the fish. Adding some optional but flavorful bay leaves. I should have used a bigger casserole for the sauce, but hey, it is what it is right now. I can't change it. <laughs> I don't like my fish stew too runny. I prefer it a little thicker. Otherwise, I will have to change the casserole and add more water, but this is just perfect for my personal preference. A quick cleaning since the sauce is bubbling over. 
adding adding some sliced onion, hot pepper, bell pepper, and optional cherry tomato. These cherry tomatoes are from my garden, so I'm using them as often as I can. <laughs> I didn't pop all those green habanero peppers because I want the heat to be tolerable to everyone at the dinner table. Cover it and let those vegetable flavor infuse the sauce. Cook it for about five minutes, then add some bouillon to taste. I love having this soup with couscous, rice, banku, gari. If you feel the need, once you tasted the sauce, you can add some extra salt. Stirring a fish stew is delicate. You don't want mushy fish in your stew. It is preferable to grab your casserole and gently shake, shake it so that all ingredients are well mixed in the sauce. For this recipe, I'm using African black pepper powder. It's called atinkali. I'm mixing it with water so that it can easily blend in a sauce. For some reason, I found this black pepper powder more flavorful. Add this black pepper mixture at the end, stir it, then your soup is ready. Thanks for watching this. You guys are fabulous. I appreciate your support. Don't forget to share, share, and share. Talk to you next time. Bye-bye.